Hey folks, it's Rob, Rob's Movie Collection, and I have a haul video for you today. Um, but in the past I've mentioned in other videos that I'm an artist. I've never really shown that off, because that's not really what my channel's about. But uh, it's kind of what I'm doing on the weekends. I usually do that, but right now... Uh, to kind of keep busy, I've been doing these uh, paintings on uh, on cloth on T-shirts. Yeah, because I figure I can wear it to work. You know, while I'm doing curbside and stuff, and be kind of funny and fun. Uh, so this is one of Jason and the Argonauts, or from Jason and the Argonauts. Um, it's uh, Talos. You can see it right there. So all this is going to be Talos attacking uh, Jason and his crew. You guys all know. You guys all know the scene probably. You know what, uh, what I'm talking about. And uh, of course I kind of got the idea to do this because of the recent uh, Ray Harryhausen birthday thing in the video I made. Um, so yeah, this is uh, fabric paint. This is this type of paint. Some other ones like that, which I haven't actually done since my college years. Uh, and the only reason I did it back then was uh, because of a girl. So, you know, typical. That's what guys do. Um, and I haven't really done it yet uh, since, but I think the reason also is because it's such a pain in the butt. It doesn't exactly flow that well. Uh, and it takes a, a long time to do, so I'm probably only going to be doing about three of these before I kind of move on to something else. But anyway, just a quick uh, thought you might might want to see what I'm talking about whenever I say that I'm an artist. Uh, unfortunately, not an artist that can make a living, which is why I work in a in a library. So that's an old story. Anyway, but. That's not what this video is about. This video is a haul video to show you uh, some of the stuff I've gotten recently, both from uh, my library uh, and from uh, Criterion. Not a lot of Criterions, uh, and not the Criterion that I wanted the most, but uh, but something, you yeah. know. And uh, something to show. So, and I'm probably going to leave those for the very end because, uh, you know, they're the nice shiny ones. So, do that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so let's get started with that. Okay, as you can see, we got a little bit farther with the painting. Uh, it's late afternoon now, so I'm in danger of losing my light pretty soon. So let's get started because I got a lot of stuff. So, uh, this first batch is from the library where I work, from the bookstore. We're not uh, accepting donations. We got a lot of stuff in there. So, uh, a lot of good stuff, uh, starting with the Manchurian Candidate. The original with Frank Sinatra and Janet Lee. I got that. That's on DVD. Uh, picked up The Watch. I don't know much about it. Uh, it. I don't think it was too successful. I don't particularly like this guy. Uh, I'm not a big Vince Vaughn fan, although I have quite a few of his films, so that's weird. I remember this guy from the IT crowd, and of course I like uh, Ben Stiller, so I thought, well, I, I don't have high hopes for it, but we'll see. Uh, next up, I got The Life Aquatic. Now, the first time I saw The Life Aquatic, <clears throat> it's a Wes Anderson film, uh, I thought it was okay, not the best of his films that I liked. Uh, oh, glare. Second time I saw it, I liked it less for some reason. Third time I saw it, I don't know why I watched it again, but I liked it a little more. I don't know, I go back and forth with it. I'm not sure what it is. But uh, this is actually a Criterion Collection one that I found in our bookstore. So it's a two-disc one, so I couldn't resist grabbing that. Uh, let's see, next up we got this movie called 100 Rifles. I got this because, well, Raquel Welch, so, you know, 
That's all the motivation I need there. The Pajama, pajama Game with Doris Day, uh, one of her classic comedies. It's always good. I have a Doris Day pack, one of those packs that brings a bunch of our movies, but I don't think that's in it. Family Plot. Um, I want to say, it's not that I haven't heard of this Hitchcock film. I think I have heard of it, but not a lot. Uh, but hey, it's a Hitchcock. Good, uh, good addition to my collection. I have a big Hitchcock set, too, that I got in at Big Lots a while ago, and I don't think this one is in it, so... Looks, just judging from the actors, it might be one of his later ones. I don't know, maybe one of his last ones. Uh, Dirty Harry, Sudden Impact. Uh, is this, this might be the one where he says, uh, you know, make my day. Is that the... Uh, yeah, this might be the make my day one. I'm not sure they all come apart together there for a while. Uh, nothing in common with Tom Hanks and Jackie Gleason. This one is actually sealed. It's not even open, so that's pretty good. Thirteen Ghosts. Uh, I've heard that this one is not bad. Uh, is this, I think this is a remake. Somebody correct me. Is this a remake uh, of a an earlier one? Might I even have it in my collection? I have to check. But uh, anyway, grab that. The Way We Were, of course, I've heard of The Way We Were for a long time. I like uh, the actors. I like Robert Redford. Uh, I like Barbara Streisand as an actress. Uh, I think she's a good comedic actress, so I don't think that this one is a comedy, obviously. McClintock, add to my uh, John Wayne collection. Anytime John Wayne gets together with uh, Maureen O'Hara, she is right there, is just uh, kind of a given. Just, you know, grab it. Just because. Blown Away with Jeff Bridges, Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, this is one that I always think I have for some reason. I, I just, you know, I know I, I used to have it on VHS back in the day, so maybe that's just confusing me, but uh, I keep thinking that I have it, So I, and then I look up online and nothing. So I'm glad I got it because I enjoy this one. The Specialist, it's Stallone and Sharon Stone. I remember when this came out, I think it was this and Demolition Man. Uh, they both came out around the same time. It was kind of like a Stallone double whammy. Uh, I prefer Demolition Man, but this isn't a bad one either. It's a, you know, it's got less humor, but uh, but it's good. It's got the the song that uh, the big hit song, the cover that Gloria Stefan did of Turn Turn the Beat Around. Remember that video too. Moulin Rouge, uh, Baz Luhrmann film, of course. Uh, that's pretty good. I think this is part of his uh, his trilogy. I, now I've forgotten what it's called now. Uh, it's with Strictly Ballroom, this, and uh, Romeo and Juliet. Is it Red Curtain trilogy? I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe. The King and I on Blu-ray. Uh, and somebody donated it uh, unopened. Just, you know, and this one's got, uh, I believe, three discs. One has Blu-ray and then uh, a couple of DVDs, and that's where all the uh, uh, documentaries are and that sort of thing. I guess it also has it on, on the Blu-ray, but whatever. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Okay, next up I got Billy Madison. Uh, this is one of Adam Sandler's early films. I wasn't a big fan of his on SNL. I didn't think he was terribly funny. And when he started his movies, I just thought he was stupid. I didn't think he was funny either. Uh, it wasn't until I saw You Don't Mess With the Zohan and I had just gone through a breakup and I was really in a low mood and for some reason it just cracked me up. And after that, all the ones that he came out with, I started watching and I liked it. Was, it's stupid. They're all stupid. But uh, So anyway, I decided to finally try some of these early ones. And too late, I noticed that it's full screen. Yuck. But, well, it's free. And uh, Happy Gilmore as well. Uh, so I think that's where he got his name of his company. Flyboys. I already have Flyboys, but, uh, of course, this is a collector's edition. And uh, comes in this kind of... Whoops. That's right. 200 plus videos, folks, and I'm just getting more and more professional all the time. Well, anyway, it comes in this little, you know, slip thing. Patton, I already have Patton as well, but again, 
a uh, special collector's edition. That's something that I cannot resist. Uh, recently, someone at work called me a hoarder. I think that's going to spark a video soon because uh, I'm getting a little tired of that joke. Okay. And uh, I came across the Star Wars movies. Now I've got all of them. I've got the Empire Strikes Back, Jedi, and Star Wars. The original Star Wars. To me, is Star Wars. Uh, this is the one. These are the ones that have both. They have the special edition on disc one, and on disc two, they have the original theatrical version. I actually already have these, but I figure a spare set is not a bad thing because. It's not easy to get these uh, original ones anymore unless you have them on VHS, which I do. But uh, Passenger 50, 57 with uh, Wesley Snipes. I thought this was the one with Halle Berry, but I think Halle Berry is actually in Executive Decision, which is another very similar one about a terrorist on a plane and all stuff. So, uh, but if I remember this is good. This I was so happy about because I love this movie. This is one of my favorite uh Cary Grant and Blake Edwards movies Operation Petticoat and I've wanted it for so long and it's a little bit pricey out there um both on Amazon and and at Barnes and Noble and and uh so I've been wanting to get it for a long time every time they show it on TV I stop and I watch it and and I really like this one this is a lot so I was just tickled pink get it pink that uh that I came across of all things I could come across the one I've been wanting for a while Munich, uh, of course, Steven Spielberg is my favorite filmmaker and my inspiration. Let's kind of go down there you go. Uh, for when I wanted to be a filmmaker. But uh, I actually haven't seen all of his films. But it just goes to show the man's range, boy, from uh, E.T. and dinosaurs and sharks to this sort of thing and Catch Me If You Can and, of course, Schindler's List. Uh, haven't seen this one, but uh, I thought maybe it was time I finally check it out. You know, the subject is kind of serious and all so i think sometimes that stops me from from uh trying things but it's spielberg so and sherlock holmes collector's edition a tin One of those tins uh can you believe this whoops sorry and inside it comes with a couple of dvds sherlock holmes, sherlock holmes uh yeah I believe uh, is that Christopher Lee and Patrick McNee and a bunch of stuff and look yay booklets oh joy and something else in here oh what's this Jack the Ripper I'm not sure if that actually is part of this tin or somebody whoever donated this just decided to put it in there maybe but yeah pretty good tin there I don't know if this counts as a steel book, but uh, it's a tin. I've got a similar one with the Adventures of Robin Hood. It's pretty good. Okay, and next up I got this movie, The Peacemaker, early George Clooney. I love the way the, the sun keeps going down and the reflection just keeps moving. Pretty sure pretty, you're going to have to look at it like this after a while. Uh, the Peacemaker with George Clooney. Uh, it's an action movie. I've never seen it, but uh, I like Clooney and I like her and... I thought I'd give it a try. Battle of the Bulge with uh, Henry Fonda, Robert Shaw, Robert Ryan, and Dana Andrews. Great cast. Uh, good good uh, addition to my war collection. War movies. Anastasia. Good cartoon. Uh, I forget if this might be a Don Bluth movie. Yep, Don Bluth. Uh, Don Bluth was a guy who worked at Disney for a while and then kind of went out on, on his own and uh, kind of gave them a little run for their, their money there for a while. And this and uh, uh, the, the 501s with the little mouse, uh, tail, tail, forget what it's called. Uh, and, of course, the Land Before Time cartoons uh, with the dinosaurs. That, that was really big with the kids. And then uh, I don't know what happened to him. He kind of disappeared. Jim Gaffigan, uh, I like him. He's uh, not my favorite, but he's uh, yeah, he's a pretty good comedian. He's pretty good. And next up, I got Mogambo. That's right, a uh, classic. Uh, Clark Gable, Ava Gardner, passionate adventure, the battle of the gorillas, the battle of the sexes. 
hopefully not the same. Uh, directed by John Ford, and also starring Grace Kelly. Yeah, this is a good one. I think I might even have it on a on one of those uh, TCM for movie type packs, but it's nice to have it on its own sometimes. So. And here's Clint Eastwood again in Firefox. I remember when this came out when I was uh, younger, I was I was just so stoked to see this plane. This is just an awesome plane. We don't want to see it. Of course, it really only gets going in the plane at all, towards the end of the film. <laughs> so, But now as an adult, I can probably appreciate the plot a little better. Early Sandra Bullock, The Net. Uh, when the internet was just starting off and they kind of made a film about uh, about it and you know how it could be. It's kind of a little bit of a... a Precursor to real life, but uh, a good good suspense film. Major League Two, uh, not as good as the first one, of course. That's usually the situation, but uh, worth getting for you know free practically. And then uh, came across this. Did not get it at Costco for eleven ninety nine. Got it at the bookstore, obviously. But uh, somebody donated it without uh, opening it up. So it's got three movies: uh, Gentleman in the Green Man, The Man. In the Gray Flannel Suit and the Keys of the Kingdom. I've heard of that one uh, and this one. I'm not sure about that one, but I just I just really like older movies, classic movies. I need them a little more as time goes on. So, yeah, it's good there. So I believe that, yeah, that's, that's what I got uh, from my library when I scrounged around in the bookstore during my lunchtime. Now, this next group, uh, because of this pandemic and all, and I, I'm really not going out much to uh, scrounge around as much, uh, even with the masks, I'm not. I'm just not confident in, about it. I've been doing a lot more shopping online, on, mostly just on Amazon. So I've been ordering a lot more stuff uh, than I normally do. So I got some of that. Let's see, on Blu-ray, I got Journey to the West, The Demons Strike Back. This is a sequel to Journey to the West. I've had the first one for a while, and I just, you know, never got this. Uh, produced and written by Stephen Chow. I really like him. Also, The Monkey King. I've had The Monkey King 2 for a while, and I've kind of, like, just let it sit there. I didn't want to watch it because I, I wanted to get the this one first, so I finally ended up getting that. These both have the Blu-ray and the DVD. And then uh, this Gene Wilder film, uh, The Adventure of Sherlock Holmes' Smarter Brother. <laughs> Uh, this is one of the, I believe, two that he directed uh, with him and Madeline Kahn, working with Madeline Kahn again from uh, Blazing Saddles and Young Frankenstein. The three of them, Gene Wilder, Madeline Kahn, and Marty Feldman reunited again from uh, Young Frankenstein. Uh, really funny movie. You know, If you ever get a chance to watch it, it's part of his, uh, also with Dom DeLuise. Uh, yeah, just a really funny movie. I remember watching this a lot when I was a kid. And the other one that he directed... The World's Greatest Lover with uh, Carol Kane. Uh, really good movies and Dom DeLuise. Just, you know, I, I believe, I'm not sure if he directed it anymore, but I know for sure he directed these two, and they're just very, very funny movies. Definitely recommend those. And now a couple of documentaries. The Fantasy Film Worlds of George Pal. If you don't know who George Pal is, uh, check him out. He was just this great filmmaker. He, he did so many great movies, especially if you're in the, into the sci-fi and fantasy genre. Uh, I remember this documentary from the eighties. I had it on videotape for the longest time because I, I taped it off of PBS and I just periodically watch it. And it's, it's such a good, uh, documentary. It talks about all the films that he produced and made. He was a stop motion animator. He did the, the puppetoons. He, he, made War of the Worlds, which we're all waiting for on Criterion. Uh, just the Time Machine, just a really great guy. Influenced a lot of people, including Ray Harryhausen. Uh, Ray Harryhausen actually worked for George Powell. So, a uh, very good documentary. They made it, I believe, in the 80s. And uh, I'm glad I, it was out there. I'm glad I was able to, to find it, because I watched it again, and I just really enjoyed it as much as I did uh, before. And uh, kept going with the documentaries. Uh, this one's called The Sci-Fi Boys. Uh, it's got interviews with Peter Jackson and and uh, John Landis and all these other guys and Rick Baker and uh, it's got Forey Ackerman in it. Uh, it's about these the filmmakers who grew up to make the sci-fi movies and the fantasy movies and it shows a lot of their 
their uh, little amateur films from when they were kids. It's it's fun to watch. At the same time, it's a little bittersweet for me because I was one of those boys. I uh, I would make my little films, and but I never got to. I just never made it the way they did. So it could be a little bittersweet, but uh, also fun to watch. It was bittersweet for me, not for you, probably. Uh, next up, I got Wizards. This is a Ralph Bakshi film. Uh, Wizards is, is kind of weird. I remember watching it as a kid and just not... Uh, ooh, somebody's playing the piano. Hey. Um, so, uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, it was weird, and then I saw it again years later, and it kind of interested me a little more. But I thought, uh, good to have for the animation collection. And for the Steve Martin collection, Sergeant Bilko, another one of those that I could swear that I had and keep thinking I have and keep thinking I have, and no, I don't. So, but uh, not one of his best movies, but uh, I just like Steve Martin. The only one of his movies that I don't get is The Pink Panther, because that's just sacrilege. Uh, the Valley of Guanji. That's right, I didn't have The Valley of Guanji after doing the Ray Harry Austin video. I started to look at my collection and see what it is that I have of his and what it is that I've missed. I have that big collection. The, those two big boxes that came out years ago, I got the first one, the one that has the Seventh Voyage of Sinbad and all that stuff, but I never managed to get the other one that's got the sci-fi films, you know, uh, Earth vs. the Flying Saucer and all that stuff, uh, because I, I couldn't afford it back then. So uh, little by little, I've been trying to collect them, and I don't think this was even on that one. So, But the Valley of Guanji is one of my favorite ones, and... I told the story in the Harry Harryhausen video. See Harry Harryhausen video for the story of of why I like this film and what I did to watch it. Multiplicity. This is a, a nice, uh, funny uh, Michael Keaton movie. Uh, again, I thought I had it. <laughs> so much that I think I have and I don't have. But uh, yeah, this is a fun movie. I really enjoyed this one a lot. Uh, it was well done. Good, good special effects. Uh, Stakeout. Uh, Richard Dreyfus, uh, Medus Estevez. What the heck happened to Richard Dreyfus? Uh, God, he got so caught up in politics and stuff, and you never see him as an actor anymore. But uh, he was pretty good in this one. Everybody was good in this one. I liked it. They did make a sequel, which wasn't as good as usual. But this one was uh, was very good. I really enjoyed it a lot. And I finally got this one, The Room. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've all heard of The Room. It's like considered one of the worst movies. Awesome. Uh, so uh, yeah, just look at the poster. So, uh, but I thought it was you know for a while it was kind of hard to get on on Amazon and uh, but I found it pretty easily. So there you go, got the room. Hey, perfect. Okay, uh, next up, I think I'm already like at 20 minutes or so. I apologize for that. I try not to go this long usually. Uh, this is stuff that I got at Big Lots, um, I believe, no, actually, you know what, this might actually be from Amazon, although it has that on there, uh, you know what, I don't know, wherever it's from, I got it, uh, the reason I got this is for this movie, for Explorers, because, uh, I've always wanted to get Explorers, and, uh, I've never been able to get it, it comes with this other one, Small Soldiers, which I've seen clips of, but I've never seen all the way through it, looks like it's okay, too. But I mostly got it because of Explorers. That's the one that I wanted. Uh, this one, Instant Family. Uh, this might be from Walmart as well. I think I think Explorers is from Walmart. Yeah, I think this this is from the Walmart bin, definitely. Uh, I'm just fo telling you that, focusing on that in case you want to get it. Uh, Instant Family, I, I think that might also be from, from Walmart. Uh, I got this because I don't like this guy that much, but I got it because I, for some, I came across clips of it on here on YouTube and I uh, started watching it and I saw this funny clip where they go looking for this guy who, who is trading, uh, nude pictures with their, their, uh, foster daughter. And, and it's, it's a very funny scene. And I thought, okay, maybe. And then I, and the next day I came across it. So for like three bucks or something. So I thought, all right, I'll try it. And I like roast burn. So, uh, Better Off Dead with John Cusack. This is uh, one of those movies from the 80s. This is one of the ones that kind of got past me back in the 80s. I, I never saw it back then. But uh, I like him, and uh, I like, you know, these movies from the 80s kind of take me back to the time when I was young and 
and uh, unburdened. <laughs> so I thought I'd give that a shot. And then a uh, double feature of Ace Ventura, both the movies. Uh, again, I thought I had it in my, my Jim Carrey collection. It's, uh, it's good to have and kind of revisit his, his movies because he's become such a, uh, I don't know, he's just not funny anymore. Although I've heard he's good in Sonic, and I just haven't seen that. But, but uh, yeah, it's good to see what he was like. And these two I definitely got from Big Lots. Uh, I went in there to get some honey mustard sauce, and as usual, I kind of swing around the... Uh, I always swing around the, the movie kiosk section, and 9 out of 10 times, there's nothing new. Same old, same old. But uh, this is the reason why I keep going around and back. Came across Laverne and Shirley. Seasons 1 through 5 for 15 bucks, which is not bad for one of these big suckers. Uh, they didn't have, at least not at this big lots, they didn't have the rest of the seasons. I don't know if they don't have them or not, but, but these are the good seasons anyway. And these come in uh, one of these big, thick thick ones. So they've got these, uh, you know, the DVDs are in the individual, I don't know if you can see them here, where they kind of, you know, flip back and forth like a, like a book page. That's good because uh, a lot of the... Some of these come just stacked, and I would hate to see, you know, all these just stacked one on top of the other. That would suck. So that's great. I was very happy about that. Uh, and then, uh, just when I thought I couldn't be any happier, bam! Lucy! Yeah, one through five. It's going to stand on its own. Wow, Lucy, of course. Uh, yeah, For 20 bucks, good price. Same thing, uh, one of the thick ones. Awesome. Uh I have to go to some of the other. I'm trying not to go to the stores a lot unless it's just for food and such, but uh, or honey mustard sauce. But yeah, this is great. Came across uh, Lucy. That was awesome. And uh, now there's they did have they did have a bunch of other video uh, TV shows as well. I I wasn't interested in any other ones. I think some of them were like uh, crime shows and such. So if you like some other stuff, yeah, check it out because. You might have something that you like. It's pretty affordable. Okay, and finally, uh, my Criterion haul. Uh, right off the bat, I didn't get the one that I really wanted the most, which was War of the Worlds. I think a lot of people want that one. Uh, <coughs> I wasn't really even aware that this was going to be coming out, so of course I was probably too late to reserve it or do anything like that, which I usually don't do anyway. But uh, So I went to two... Barnes and Nobles, and neither one of them had it. I asked the lady at the, the cashier, and she just kind of giggled a little bit. I was like, yeah, no, no way. So, uh, but I've since ordered it on Amazon. Uh, at, you know, at the time I went to Barnes and Noble and I tried Amazon, it said it would ship in like two months. But now I guess they've gotten more copies because it's supposed to be be here by the end of the month. So, but in the meantime, uh, I got these. I got uh, Time Bandits. What was like Time Bandits? A uh, very weird film the first time I saw it, but it's certainly grown on me, and I remember it from when I was younger. Uh, good cast. Really good fantasy. Swing Time with Astaire and Rogers. Uh, actually, I was just watching this on TV recently, and uh, yeah, Astaire and Rogers, boy, when they get together, it's amazing the way they dance. It's... Uh, they are legends. Local hero. Now, in the 80s, I had a friend named uh, Alex. And, uh, you know, we'd go to the movies a lot. But Alex's taste was more towards dramas. And, uh, you know, this, we were young and teenagers. And, of course, you know, amped up on Star Wars and Spielberg and Lucas and all this. So most of us wanted to see those types of films. Uh, so one day we went to Westwood. And uh, I really wanted to see a film called High Route to China. Tom Selleck made my top 10 adventure list. And he wanted to see this movie, Local Hero. And uh, we talked about it. We just couldn't agree. And finally, we just said, you know what? They start kind of pretty close. And why don't you go see yours and I'll go see mine. And I didn't regret it because I love High Route to China. But I never got to see this. And now that I'm older, I thought, okay, I'd give this a try. I read about it. And it looks like it's pretty good. It's got a good cast. And might be a little humorous, and so I thought I'd give it a try. I don't know if I need this in a Criterion version, but that's, that's the thing about the sale, is you buy stuff that 
normally you might not on, on a Criterion because it's cheaper. And I got Stagecoach. Yes, the beginning for John Wayne and John Ford. Classic, uh, that scene there. Was the first time that they uh, they did that, or one of the first times. Well, maybe not the first time, actually. But anyway, this is uh, a stuntman named uh, Yakima, Yakima Kunut, I believe. Uh, did that stunt where he jumps on the horse and then he, you know, goes underneath and goes underneath the wagon and flips over and comes back on the, you know, something. I think they do it in this film. Uh, the stunt they did very famously in Raiders of the Lost Ark that we all thought was brand new and original back in the 1980s. You know, it's from the past. But anyway, uh, Stagecoach with John Wayne, directed by John Ford. I've always wanted this one for my John Wayne collection. Sullivan's Travels with, uh, Joe McRae and Veronica Lake and her hair. Look at that. Uh, she was known for her hair. Uh, silky, wavy hair. So that's pretty good. hope you guys can still see this because the light, as I've predicted, has just kind of started to go. The Phantom Carriage. This is a, a silent movie. I believe it's a Swedish film. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong but I've been heard about this film for a year or two now from... Some people on YouTube, but mostly, I believe, from Mike at Grey1951. I think, Mike, I think you did a video where you talked about this. Am I correct or am I wrong? I wouldn't be surprised if I am wrong. My brain is kind of... Mm. But uh, I think you might have talked about this. But anyway, uh, regardless, uh, yeah, when I came across, I'm like, oh, I remember people talking about this. I remember, I think I remember Mike talking about it. It's a silent film. It's apparently, according to what it says on the back here... Uh, the film that inspired uh, Igmar Bergman to uh, make movies. So, there you go. Yeah. So, check it out. Uh, 1921, silent film. It's pretty good. Speaking of silent films, uh, Buster Keaton. Uh, thanks to the Criterion Collection, I've I've really boosted my Charlie Chaplin collection and now I want to, I would like to do the same with Buster Keaton. I don't have a lot of his films. Uh, I believe I have the general and, uh, now the cameraman, this is one of his, uh, uh, famous ones, uh, Buster Keaton with his camera tricks and all. He's just, you know, legend. So, uh, I'm glad about that. Uh, I've got, I've got a couple of Blu-rays, as you can see. This is a Blu-ray. Phantom Carriage was a Blu-ray, and the rest are DVDs. I, I got them in Blu-ray because I had no choice, because I usually get DVDs for the Criterions, because they have the same special features. So, And plus I can buy more, <laughs> because I save some money. But anyway, I was glad to get this one, so that's good. And then finally, uh, I've been coming across this one a lot every time I... I uh, go to the Criterion sale, and uh, I wanted to have this one in my collection because it just it looks good. I uh, don't know a lot about it, but I've heard about it. 1932, German film, uh, Vampire. Vampire, yeah. I believe that is it. At uh, almost 30 minutes, oh my God, that's not good. That's not me. Uh, anyway, okay, so there you go. That's what I got uh, over the last month or two, uh, plus the recently the other day at the Criterion sale. So, yeah, let me know if you got any of these from Criterion or in general, just any of these, and if you like any of these films. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, keep watching those movies then. Wait, where are you going? So a quick short PS to the video. Uh, before I was able to edit it, I went out to another Big Lots to get something else, and I came across a couple of more things to show you guys. So, here we go. Uh, Rocky 2. This has got uh, two movies, Rocky and Rocky 2. Rocky 2 was the only one that I didn't have yet, so it was nice to finally come across that one. Uh, of course, this means I have like three versions of the first Rocky movie, but that's okay, whatever. For five bucks, that's fine. Two movies. Uh... The Brady Bunch, for season, for only five bucks. Uh, I grew up with the Bradys, so for me, uh, the Bradys are a big part of my childhood. So, yeah, I hadn't gotten this one yet. And another one that was a big part of my childhood, The Andy Griffith Show, season one, for five dollars. That's pretty good. I've seen, uh, you know, videos or DVDs of, uh, uh, like, special episodes, but never the entire season, so that's great. And finally, I got... 
Star Trek Enterprise, the entire season one on Blu-ray for five bucks. Now, I would have been fine on DVD, but uh, here it is on Blu-ray uh, for five bucks. Uh, so that's not bad. Uh, check out your big lots if you've got one nearby, because it uh, looks like they got some, some good stuff in. I saw a couple of other... Uh, those big fat ones, the season one through five. Uh, uh, there was a CSI show. There was a bunch of sci-fi shows uh, from the Sci-Fi Channel. Uh, one called, uh, I think, Continuum or something like that. I'm not familiar with it, but a whole bunch of them like that. And, and uh, uh, several other uh, entire series, seasons, uh, uh, for five bucks and some for three. So check it out. Okay, uh, this time definitely buy. I will see you guys next time.